Silly from Lily Silly Puppets and today we'll be showing you how to make a three-piece shadow puppet like the ballerina that you just saw. This style of puppet is very easy to control but has a great range of motion. So here is what you'll need to get started. For this puppet, we'll need three pieces, the upper torso, the lower torso, and the leg. The first thing you want to do is to draw two of the same figure on the cardstock of the puppet that you're going to make. It's good to use a live model if you can. I use the live model to sketch my ballerina. Now we have to decide how to make this puppet into three pieces. We're going to draw a circle at the junction. And we're going to do this on both parts. For the leg, we'll be drawing a circle here. On this piece, this is the piece that we'll be cutting. So we'll cut all around, and when we get to the bottom, we'll be cutting along the dotted line, like this, here. On this leg, when you cut out the whole leg, when you get to the top, you'll cut out on the dotted line here. On our second puppet, we will be doing the inverse. You'll be cutting out this whole shape, and when you get to the top, you're going to cut along that line and on the leg we'll be cutting here Okay, now that you have your three pieces, let's line them up so that we have the original shape that we wanted. Now we're going to use our awl to poke a hole roughly in the center of that circle that we drew. So now you're going to take your copper wire and you want to snip off about three inches and you're going to want two pieces. Next, you're going to take the pieces that we've cut and make sure to overlap them on the same side. We're going to be taking this copper wire and threading it through our puppet. When it's about halfway through, you want to bend it. And on each side, we're going to make a curly cue like this. And we're going to do that on both sides.
For this puppet, we'll be using this kind of controller. The first thing you're going to need is a dowel. This is a 3 8 inch dowel. And we will be cutting about a 4 inch piece for our handle. To do this, you will need a handsaw. Now that we have our handle, we're going to need to make a hole that will fit our wire. For this, you're going to need a drill. Make sure that you get a bit that matches the size of your wire. Okay. Here we have 14 gauge wire, and we're going to want to cut a piece of this. The length of your controller really depends on what is comfortable for you. Next, we're going to stick this wire into the hole that we've pre-drilled. If you want a little more stability, you can use a little bit of glue before putting your wire in. Next, you're going to use your pliers to make an L shape on the end of your wire. And bend it like this, and then another little bend here. And that's our result. Now that you have your controller, you want to attach it to our puppet. If you imagine that your puppet is standing straight up, you want your controller to be parallel with your shape. You want this corner of your controller to be as close to the joint as you can make it. Like this. Not this way, but this way. In some cases, you can't fit your controller right next to the joint like that. And so, you can put it in another location. This is just the ideal, if you can do it. We're going to be using masking tape to make the connection temporarily so we can test out our puppet and see if it really moves the way we want. But, in the end, you might want to use something stronger. For example, here, we've taken a piece of the same cardstock, cut out a strip that fits, and used either hot glue or yes paste or any other kind of adhesive um, to form a stronger bond. So now we have our ballerina and you can see how she can move. But you can make your three-piece puppet in a lot of different ways. For example, in our other ballerina, our third part is just the arm. So we've done the leg the same way, but shows to move the arm. And you can see that this gives you a different range of motion. Try out different things and see what your puppet can do. Great, now that you've made your puppet, it's time to put on a show. Thanks for watching our video. I'm Lily Silly with Lily Silly Puppets.